Hi everyone. Good morning. It's Kirsten. And Jörg. And guess what? We came back to one of our favorite vintage places. Yeah, to the Winter Emporium in Stockport. Yeah, it's in the Manchester area and we love this place yes, so we, much. Yeah. I think it's our fourth time today. I think so too. And you must know, we completed, or the joiner completed the built-in cupboards this week yeah. in our attic. And it looks amazing. Yeah. Can't wait to share more of that in maybe a month's time. Yeah. But today we want to browse a little to find some items for the attic room. Yeah, maybe we'll find something nice. I hope so. And now let's go inside and have a browse. Come with us. It's just not the right rank. What is it? I believe it's a major. Right. I was only captain, so... It's quite expensive because I actually love it. There's another one. What do you think about this yeah. one? It's nice. It's great. Yeah. But we wanted to go for more maritime yeah. things, yeah. Oh my god! Who wears that? Well, is that like that's the eighties? So that's eighties, yeah. Oh that's so much eighties. Hideous. Yes. That's so hideous. Pencil box. Pencil box. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Look. I really like it. Ah, <laughs> wonder how old that is. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Sure. How much is it? Forty-five. Oh wow. Yeah, but it's old. It is. You can see that. It definitely is old, yeah. Look, a yeah. cat car. Yes. I had one as a child. I loved it so yes. much. Did you have one too? You had to share. <laughs> yeah, with your brother. Yes. Oh, God, the memories. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing.
amazing. Good evening, ladies. What was that? Music is too loud. Good evening, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, when we publish that, it will be evening. So funny. <laughs> Probably a little bit too small. <laughs> We are now at the Middleport factory in Stoke-on-Trent to do what, Jörg? To go to Burley. Yes, we want to shop for some Burley pottery. And most of you probably know by now that we have a huge passion for Burley pottery. Yes. We really love it. We buy stuff every other month to complete our collection. Yeah. And, yeah. We can't wait. But first of all, we want to show you what we bought at the Vintage Emporium. Yes, because we got something. Yes, something for you. And it's actually really nice. Now, this is a Georgian decanter. Yeah. It's beautiful. I really love it. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. And yeah, and then we bought two matching crystal glasses. Yeah. Beautiful. Now you can enjoy a nice sip. A glass of sherry. Yes. In the attic. Yeah. Awesome port. Awesome port, yeah. I love it. It's yeah. gorgeous. Very nice. And, of course, we will be browsing, but I can shop for a cake stand. Yeah, it's the birthday present of your sister. Yeah, my sister and her family. So, that will be nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go in. Yeah, let's check it out. Getting to those espresso cups. Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. And this is what we were looking for. Create your own mix and match cake stand. Three tiers. Yeah. So the thing is, we need to ask downstairs because this is the one we have at home. We have the blue and pink Asiatic pheasant and that's the only one left. So we need to ask downstairs. Kirsten did her shopping and I get my treat now. <laughs> we both did some shopping. <laughs> and what have we got here? 
So we've got T. T. Yes. And Victoria sponge. Mm -hmm. And a gluten-free carrot cake. Yummy. That's a real treat. Yes, it is. Victoria sponge and gluten-free carrot cake, which looks really good. How was your cake? Oh, excellent. I loved it. Mine too. Mine was really good. And regarding the cake stand, well, we weren't lucky this time because they run low on stock and we have the blue and pink Asiatic pheasant at home and where they, they don't have it at yeah, the minute. But they've got a solution. Yes, and they were really kind. They said we can send them an email and then they will let us know when pink and blue Asiatic pheasant for the cake stand is back in stock and they will send it to us. Yeah. So that's really great. Yeah, it's nice. Looking forward to that. And now comes our highlight. Yeah, the China collection. Yes, we will show you our China collection, which is growing every month. Yeah. So we'll show you what we have now and we hope you will enjoy it. Hi, from our kitchen. This is where we have our china and I show you exactly where because it's probably quite unconventional for some British people but since we are not British we can easily break the rules. So let me show you. So this is a so-called larder and usually it's used to store food but we really like it and we really love to have our china in there and I don't know, we might change it once our dining room is finished but this is just great for us because we have a pantry in here, here on the left so this is really great and now let me open this for you here you can clearly see what a larder is usually used for and we use the shelves to store spices and herbs or pudding from Germany, also tea, stuff like that. But we also use it for our china and for cookbooks that we constantly use. So let me talk you through and we also have China down there which is the China we got for our wedding so it will be 29 years old this year. This is everything from Burley that we started buying once we moved to the UK and there's also something from this is called, let me show you. Now, this is called Queen's by Churchill and is also in Stoke on Trent. And we have some soup balls and some dinner plates from Churchill. And we also got a couple of Wedgwood cubs that are really lovely. This cub somehow reminds me of Jane Austen or Bridgerton. This could have been used in Bridgerton. Wedgwood and we want to go back to Wedgwood and film that for you because it's really beautiful. Here's another one from Wedgwood. Another cup that's really gorgeous as well. But before I forget, let me show you what exactly we bought when we visited Burley. So this is what we bought at Burley last weekend. Two espresso cups which are really lovely. Another breakfast cup and we really like the size and for us they are the perfect size and this is called Blue Asiatic Pheasants and this is called Pink Asiatic Pheasants. So we got the two small balls and 
we've got this one as well, which you can use for tea bags. So, as mentioned, these are soup balls, and we've got dinner plates from Churchill. And we went for different prints because you can easily combine them. Here's another one. So we've got four of these. We use that every day, but we don't want a complete set. What, what we're really after is the pink and blue Asiatic pheasants. So we also have, well, this is what we started some months ago. These are very big dinner plates, blue Asiatic pheasants, really beautiful. And we will probably get six. So here are small plates for blue Asiatic pheasants and for pink Asiatic pheasants. And this is another print that we fell in love with when we stayed at a very beautiful bed and breakfast in Oxfordshire and this is Burley as well and it's called Black Regal Peacock. It's really stunning. So let me show you the back. It says Regal Peacock Burley made in England. So we only have two of these and this is nothing very special. We got these two plates from Anthropology years ago, but we also use them and they look pretty nice on photos. So it's like this. Then we've got two small teapots. These were presents, a beautiful jam glass that we really love and just recently we got this absolutely stunning antique jam spoon. I hope you can see it. I need to show you the spoon here on the table and we found it on Etsy. Some months ago we got some questions about this glass and this is I think about 25 years old. We found it at a very small shop, so I can't link it. It's just all. And we also have this beautiful burly jug. And this is called, the print is called Felicity. I hope you can see it. And we always buy seconds at the outlet, which means a cup, a plate can have a little fold, but they are a lot cheaper and that's perfect for us because we use this every single day. So here we have the Downton Abbey cookbook, of course. Two Mason cash balls that we absolutely love. <laughs> There's another ball here from Churchill. Here. We need this for scones, of course. Here's the other Mason cash ball. Slightly different, really stunning. And we got this mold just recently. It's also an antique one. And here we store our, I don't know, we just kept the packaging because Fortnum and Mason has such beautiful packaging. So this is the caddy spoon and here is our tea strainer here. And this is a cake stand we've had for years. Moving on to the next shelf, we've got more breakfast cups, two black regal peacock breakfast cups, and a 
small teapots, a cow creamer, our very first thing from Burley, a beautiful black regal peacock teapot. Small, small plates from Burley. And this is funny, this is a salt and pepper shaker that we actually got from the Vintage Emporium a couple of years ago. And this amazing vase, which isn't from Burley, but from Spode. And I will be using that in a second for gorgeous roses. And also here... This is a gorgeous sugar bowl. Really stunning. And here we've got the... How to cook the Victorian way, Mrs. Crocum, who we met last year. And some other cookbooks. Moving on to this bit. We've got some spode. This is called Woodland. It's absolutely gorgeous. We only have two plates and we probably won't be buying the whole set because it's just, it's just too much. But we think this one is particularly gorgeous during autumn and winter. And we have a very big plate as well. Which looks like this. Here we have a small cake plate from Burley. And some cheese knives. We've got some moles and a bond cake pan. This is from Anthropology some years ago. Just a small bowl and a small plate. And this is, I don't even know what it is. We bought it years ago and it's just vintage doesn't even have a name but it looks nice and well this doesn't have a name either i got that some years ago when i went to an event to london so i don't know and this is actually the china we got for our wedding let me show you in more detail. So this is it and it's called Pasadena from Villejuanboch. It's from the area I come from. You can see it here. And the thing is, we don't really use it anymore. I actually like the colours, but the shape of the plates is just dated somehow. I really like the coffee pot, but everything else, hmm, I don't know, what do you think? So we've got dinner plates, soup plates, yeah, and that's basically it. And some lovely candles from Matilda Goad, which are great, and yeah, that's it. I hope that wasn't boring, but we got so many requests that we thought, okay, we need to film this. So, this is our china cupboard. A larder that we use for china. And now I'm going to use this absolutely stunning Spode vase, which is Spode Heritage. Now, here we have the flowers, and they are roses and carnations, and they look so beautiful. And this is called Spode Heritage because Spode celebrated its 250th birthday last year, and they took some patterns from the archives, and they are so gorgeous. And here you can see how well Black Regal Peacock from Burley works with this black and white spode vase. So stunning. 
and it looks so good if you add some silver. Ah, oh, this looks wonderful. And this is what makes me really happy. Beautiful flowers and gorgeous china. And even if that's not very colourful and it's just black and white, it looks so elegant, doesn't it? Oh, I really love that. Let me give you another close-up of this beautiful vase. Okay. I really hope you like this video and I hope you love the china as much as you and I love it. It's so special for us and we use it every single day, not only for special occasions. It's even if, if it's a very ordinary and dreary day. This is what makes me happy and also yuck. If I bring him his tea in a beautiful cub, he, I don't know, it just, it puts a smile on our faces. And yeah, we'll see you again next week. And take care and until next time. Bye.